Are you guys tired of paying for cable bill or satellite bill? Let's see if these really work like they're supposed to. Okay guys, we, we got these. They're three as seen on TV. They're those uh, HD um, TV antennas. We got these at Walmart. This one was $10. It's made by Clear TV Premium HD. We've got this one by Clear TV as well. This one was $15. Full 1080. So these pretty much say the same thing on the, on the uh, packaging. And then we got this one. This one was $15. Then we've got this one. It's from Bob Head, which is as seen on TV. Uh, this one was $20. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to try all three of these on three different TVs in three areas of the house. This is a block house, and we have trees all around us which I'll show you later but 20 it's played with 24 karat gold yeah right but we're going to try all three of these and see what happens now I understand uh, there's a, a couple of my friends on YouTube that you know they kind of live out in the country a good ways and, and these just just probably wouldn't work for them uh, so you know be mindful of that how far away you are from from anywhere now we're kind of close to town we're not in town we're outside the city limits but we're still pretty close so we may be able to use one of these but let's start on the big tv in the bedroom and we're going to do all three of these but let's start in there and we'll open these up and We'll get to checking to see what's happening with them. You know, first we're going to start with the ten dollar um, one, and we're going to open this up. Like I said, we're surrounded by trees, uh, and we are in a block home, so. take this little guy out and that's what it is there's my index finger so you can see it's 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 very small okay so I've got this we're going to plug it in we're going to screw it into the back where your cable would go. Now this is not very long, so we're going to just screw this into the back of here. And then we'll turn the TV on and see what happens. So I don't know where I'm going to set this. I might be able to set it over there. Okay, we've got that screwed in. Let's see if we can set this over here. TV turned on. Let's power up the TV. I know the camera's not straight, but I got the tripod sitting on the bed. It's a uh, 55 inch, I believe, high sense smart. So let's see what happens. All right, well, we got to put the, we got to change the input. Uh, it does have instructions. The instructions are on this thing. You open it up. And there's the instructions so what you want to do is you want to go to input 
go to TV and begin scanning. We'll go to antenna and let's see if it finds any channels. No good. Well, I don't know if it's any good yet. We've got other TVs to try in other rooms. So let's unhook that one and let's get to number two. Let's try the $15 one. It's from the same company. And this one, you can hang on the wall. You can hang it in a window. So we're going to try it next. And these are the little, uh, there's for your wall mounts. And these are your sucking cups if you want to hang it on to the window. So. Nothing. Maybe if we bring it closer to the window, I don't know. Uh, I've never had one of these not pick up anything before, so. Alright, let's move on to the third one. And here's antenna number three. Kind of folds up. You can screw it directly into the back of your TV, or it comes with coax, which is good because this one won't screw directly into the back of the TV because it goes like that. So that's pretty cool. And it also folds out and does this funky stuff and it has a stand so let's get this hooked up and we'll try it okay TV one, room one, three different antennas. It's not picking anything up in this room. Like I said, this is a block home. So let's try the other TV. Alright. We got the ten dollar antenna. Okay, I didn't bore you with waiting on that to scan, but it didn't pick up anything. So Let's go with this one. See what we can come up with. Alright, let's scan this one. I've got that one in the window over here. Okay, this one found three channels. So it found three channels with it in the window. Let's try this one. Now this one started picking up channels as soon as I plugged it in. But let's go ahead and scan it. Now I have it sitting over here by the window as well. I'll show you here real quick. There it is. And the one behind it was the one we just tried. So let's see if this one will pick up anything. OK. 
Okay, it says it picked up three channels. Let's check it out. It's not quite as clear, but it's not actually in the window like the other one is. It's somewhat picking up that one. So it picked up three channels. And maybe if we move it around a little. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I picked up the same three channels. So, so far, if you're just looking for the three channels, the $15 one's a lot better. So far, the $10 one hasn't done anything. Now, let's go to TV number three in the third location. All right. Here's the $10 one. Let's scan it and see what we can get. Okay, it has picked up zero channels. Let's move on to number two. Scanning channels. It has found one analog. Now we are in the garage and the door is closed, so We've got a bunch of block and metal around us. And for shits and giggles, after we try these, we'll take this one and set it outside and see what happens. But it looks like it has picked up one analog channel. Alright, so we've got one analog channel. And that's what we're coming up with. So, let's move on to antenna number three. Alright, you can see where I've got this one. I've got it sitting on top of the computer over here. So, let's scan these channels. And that one found nothing. So, let's try an experiment. Let's do this under perfect but unrealistic conditions, okay? We're going to take the TV outside. Okay, guys. Like I said, perfect but unrealistic. Unless you're camping. Maybe, you know, in an RV. A lot of people have TVs on the outside of their, their camper and whatnot. If you got an inverter, you can take a TV. But if I'm camping, I don't take a TV. You know, I like to take a laptop in case I want to, you know, if it gets to raining real bad and I got to spend a while in the tent, I like to watch a movie or something like that. But this is really for your home. It's unrealistic. Now, I'll show you what I was talking about. I'll give you a slow pan of all the trees around us. That's what I was talking about earlier. So, we do have a lot of trees and again, a block home. Let's see what we can get on this thing. I've got the little antenna right over there. See him? He's right there. That's the $10 one. Let's zoom in here. and see what we can get. Alright. Antenna is our source. Let's go down here to find channels. And it's looking for them. Let's see what we get outside here. Alright, it's done. It found three channels. Let's see what they are. Jesus Christ. They're 
Numbers 51-2. It's movies. Same one that was on inside. 51-3. Ion TV. 51-1. W-O-G-X-D-T. So it found three channels in perfect condition. So that's telling me that thing's really a piece of junk. Block home or not, I really don't think it would pick up anything in a, in a regular wooden house. You know, so... If you're wanting something for your garage, it's not going to work out very good. Alright guys, we've got the $15 antenna hooked up. Now you can't see it because I've got it draped over the tripod hanging back here, kind of out in the open. That other one wouldn't go that far. So, let's see if we get any different results. Now, it's already picking up that channel somewhat. But let's scan them. Let's find channels. We're on antenna. Let's let it scan and see what we get. Okay, I found three channels. There's the same channel. That's the same channel. And that's the same channel. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but zoom in on that. Because we are outside, but it does pick them up. But see there, it's got some interference. So let's try antenna number three, the $20 one. The gold, 24 gold plated one. Okay, now we've got the third one. I don't know if I said $24, but it's supposed to be 24 karat gold plated. That antenna right there. So, let's see what we can get on it. Whoa, that one found six. But mind you, we're outside in perfect, unrealistic conditions. It's it's not feasible. I mean, if you want to, you can, but it's not feasible to bring your TV set outside and watch TV whenever you want. But so far, it has found six channels. So it's done. Let's see what channels we have. We've got 44-3 light TV. That's trying to come in. And of course that's that 51-1. But it's kind of messed up. And of course there's the movies one. There's Ion TV. WTOG dash CW 441, which is, you know, it picked it up, but it's not really playing it. 34 dash 2, smart TV channel, it's not picking it up very well. Back to it. So those are the six channels. So, guys, there you have it. Now, it, I've seen these on advertising on TV about. Uh, the $15 one like he's out on a boat in the Gulf Coast look we're only 20 miles from the Gulf Coast and you know so they're full of shit uh, maybe if you live in town you might want to give it a shot I wouldn't waste my money on the $10 one by any means go with the $15 one or the $20 one and give it a shot if it don't work you can always take it back so as far as, as what I'm seeing here, we're only like two miles from town. We're less than a mile to the city limits. But we do have a lot of trees around us. We do have a block home. But we are outside. And I'm just not really impressed with them. I know the one the one I had in Ohio, you know, it'd pick up 40, 50 channels depending on the weather. Um, so there you have it, guys. You know, you take it from there. Which one you want to try, which one you want to buy. Um, but, I don't know. It just depends on your location. Um, like I say, if you're in town, give one of them a shot. But if not, I would try something else. You know, a big old antenna. We do have an antenna on the back of the house if we ever want to hook it up. So, which we had it hooked up when we got together. But, so, there you go, guys.
that's a lot of testing, but we did it. <laughs> All right, guys, Shea Bear 1000, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.